One, two, one, two. Can y'all hear me out there? Welcome to Pull Your Pants Up Radio. Biot. Yo, bro. The pressure is on. The pressure is on tank. Pressure is on tank. Tanky boy. Devin Haney. I went to Devin Haney Instagram. And I saw somebody made a picture of him and Tank fighting. Devin Davis versus Haney. 2024. Inshallah. Devin posted. And you see you got celebrities. Liked by 296,756 people. We got celebrities, so, you know, Devin is pretty famous at this point. All the celebrities know who he is right now. Got DC Young Fly, Ha Ha Davis, E-40, and a, a lot of others. Got even Javante posted on here. You know that happened to the, you know what happened to, he meant to say, you know what happened to the last ninja that posted some ish like this. I don't know who, who he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about uh, Ryan Garcia. I don't know. People say he's talking about Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Well, Tank talking a little zesty right there. You, you talking? You talking big talk right there, Tank? So d- does that mean you motivated to fight now? I mean, the pressure is on. See, right now the pressure is on Tank, and the longer Tank waits. To pick a, to pick his next opponent, the better. The more likely, uh, and the better it seems he may be fighting Devin Devin next, or Shakur next. Whoever he fights next, y'all, it's gonna be a tough opponent, I believe, because the pressure is on, man. The pressure is on Tank right now. Tank is feeling the heat. Tank is feeling that heat, bruh. I'm telling y'all. And that heat is balling on his A. You know what I mean? It's balling on his A. It's heating up on him. You know what I'm saying? All that pressure is on him, boy, at this moment. He is on fire right now. He is under pressure. All that cherry, all them cherry cans you've been picking, all them tomato, all them Mexican tomato cans you've been picking in the past, bruh. That ish ends. That's going to come to a stop. You know? You got Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia never really proved himself to be a great fighter. That was a cherry. They been wanting Ryan Garcia. They been wanting that cherry. But you know what? The one fighter that Tank has on his resume, I always thought was a good fight, was a good uh, opponent. And that was uh, Leo Santa Cruz. I always thought Leo Santa Cruz was a good opponent. Now, I'm just a casual, but Leo Santa Cruz been around for a long time. And I always thought he was a respectable opponent for Tank. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was a good opponent for Tank, man. Now, you experts might say different, you know. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Everybody else, I ain't going to even talk talk on because I don't know that much. But from what I hear from the experts, everybody else is pretty much a joke. You know, pretty much a cherry. And from the eye test... Haney's opponents look much tougher than uh, Tank's opponents. Just me. Just just from the eye test. Cambosas look a lot tougher than any opponents Tank had, has ever had. Linares looked a lot tougher than any opponents uh, Tank had. Lomachenko. We know Lomachenko is, is better than any opponent Tank has ever had. That's three. Devin up. 
Devin up the scope, bro. Not to mention other fights Devin has had. Uh, but anyway, from the boxing ex expert sentiments, Devin has fought the tougher opponents, and it made Devin a stronger fighter at the end of the day. Uh, the pressure is on Tank. As I repeat myself. The pressure is on. When the zone is on. Tupac. The pressure is on you boy. Like I said. This may be a good thing that. It's taking a long time for Tank to choose. His next opponent. Because he know. He can't come with no bullshit. The jig is up Tank. We own you. The people are on you. You cannot come with no no name as bullshit opponent for your next fight, bro. Or you going to get ran out of boxing. I'm for real. Your next opponent can't be bullshit or you finna get ran out of boxing, bro. The people ain't having it. The people are on to the schemes. And this and Floyd Mayweather has his stank all behind this. This is Floyd Mayweather's doing, y'all. But like I said before, Tank is not Floyd Mayweather. Tank is not Money Mayweather. Tank is not Pretty Boy Floyd. And for Floyd to think people think he can cut. And for Floyd to think that he can Rob the bank, like he always sarcastically says. You know, how he's a bank robber. And how he, th and how his arrogance think that he can make a fighter follow his blueprint, his, his money made with a blueprint, is very, uh, I think, what shall I say? Very naive of him. Not not naive. It's very arrogant for once. Of him. And he's. Uh, he, he, he's trying to play the people. Like, like, like we stupid. You know. Leonard Ellerby. Is nothing but a Floyd Mayweather's puppet. Whatever you hear Leonard Ellerby says. Floyd told him to say. It's like Floyd got his hand up Leonard Ellaby's anus and controlling his mouth. Because you know he has to answer to Floyd at the end of the day. So whatever Leonard Ellaby is saying, him and Floyd spoke spoke about it and they in agreement 100%. And Leonard is just going along with what Floyd wants. You know, so all that shit about the fight ain't ready yet. You know, Devin got to pull his weight up. That's all Floyd's. That's Floyd saying that shit. Floyd think this is going to be Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd too. He's trying to build a super fight. Well, he was. Well, his, his envision, I think Floyd's vision was to make this a big super fight. Haney versus Tank. I, we got to build a fight up. We got to build. We got to make sure Devin bringing something to the table and all that crap. So we can make this super mega fight like Pacquiao versus Floyd. But now it seems. Nah, we just want to duck. We, we, we really, we made y'all believe we want to build a fight up. But at the same time, we ducking. He ain't ready yet and all this shit. But when it when is he gonna be ready? I think he's ready now. I think he's ready to cash out. Twenty million dollars guaranteed. That's that's twenty million in your bank account, bro. And you ain't made that in your last fight. Don't tell. I don't believe it. I don't believe he got twenty million in his bank account from his last fight. I don't believe it. He probably got t maybe got eight or ten from eight to ten. Ryan probably got about three that he took to the that he took that he took home. 
Tank probably got about 8 to 10, but we talking about 20. Tank ain't never got no 20, not no guaranteed 20 mil. But Tank won't Tank won't Tank won't overprice. Tank won't want 100. He'll fight him for 100 mil or 50 mil, 50 to 100 mil. That's the numbers Tank won't. And he probably could get it. He talked to them Saudis. Uh, 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 like they say, Dazen probably got it. If I'm saying it right. Dazen. They probably got the money. You know. Anyway. I can't, I can't blame Tank for wanting the most money because... Uh, this is the biggest risk of his career. So, uh, yeah. Tank might be biting at the chops. And how Tank responded to this post, it gives me some hope. It really gives me some hope that Tank is really going to come to a negotiation to make this fight happen. You know what I'm saying? Just by his comment right here. I mean, money talk bullshit walk, y'all. Motherfucker talking about 20 to 50 million dollars. Come on, bro. 50 million? You got damn right. I'll take a loss for 50 million. He already talking about retiring. You ain't finna get 50 million from nowhere else. You ain't even finna get 20 million from no other fight. You know, but this. 20 million plus. And like I said, you get the Saudis involved, this shit could be 100 million, bro. This could be a 100 million dollar fight. Or a 50 to 100 million dollar fight, this could be. You get them Saudis involved, or like I said, maybe you don't have to get them involved, who knows. Uh, but but the Saudi, but you know, that money, that money's out there. The money's out there. For your satisfaction tank. You can retire on this money, bro. You can retire off this one. You can retire off this one to the bank. You know, for a motherfucker that ain't 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 really educated, ain't you know, didn't didn't graduate high school. You know, this is a dream come true, bro. Like Tank is a a you know a regular dude with phenomenal boxing skills you know he ain't the most he ain't media savvy Devin Haney is a lot more media savvy than Tank Floyd Mayweather was impeccable and cre was a, a very articulate uh, incredible media savvy person Tank comes off like a regular Joe Blow that got great boxing skills and is very lucky to have those skills because if he didn't have those skills hell if, if none of them had them skills they if tank didn't have them skills especially tank probably would be working in a warehouse somewhere you know a lot like un unlike a lot of unlike a lot of other boxes that probably would be managers or you know maybe white collar somewhere in that range Tank would be in a warehouse, man. Somewhere. In a factory somewhere. You know? Maybe McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So he's very fortunate. Fortunate. And. $50 million, bro. 20 to 50 million. 20 to 80 million or whatever. Is incredible. So I I think he gonna try to make this fight. Somebody like like I said, the money right. Tank on I believe Tank ain't no damn idiot. Now he gonna make this fight. That's what he want. That's the, that's what he wanted anyway. At the end of the day, the money. Fuck the legacy. He want the money. Floyd done brainwashed this guy. He don't even give give a fuck about the legacy. He only care about the money. So. This the money fight, bruh. This is it, Tank. This is the money fight. 
This is what you've been wanting your whole life. Now, it may come with a risk. It comes with a big risk of you losing. But hell, ain't it, ain't it worth the risk? At this point, ain't it worth the risk? So, that's why Tank hasn't chosen the next opponent. He got to be very careful. He can't go out choosing old lame-ass opponent. Because, like I said, the people are going to turn on him. He got to make a strong choice. He got to choose Devin or Shakur. He got to pick between. His next opponent got to either be. It got to be a grade A opponent, his next opponent. You got to be either Devin, Shakur, Lomachenko, Teofimo, that's four. Frank Martin ain't going ain't gonna, ain't gonna to get it. He's going to get booed out. Even though he's black and he's a, he's probably going to give Tank a lot of issues. Probably be Tank's tough, tough opponent up to this date. Toughest opponent up to this date. Frank Martin would probably be Tank's toughest opponent. Would be Tank's toughest opponent up to this day. Would be Frank Martin. But the people ain't, 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 even though, you know, it would be, and, and, and even though Frank Martin, a good opponent, respectable opponent, ain't going to fly. When a man offering you 20 million plus, the fuck you going back choosing Frank Martin for a fool? Are you crazy? You can't go back now. There ain't no going back. Man offering you 20 million plus, maybe... And it's going to go up even higher than that. Maybe 50 million. A man offering you, because Eddie Hearn said, shit, more than that. 20 million, just the low. Starting off. We're going to raise this bitch. Well, come on, let's negotiate. So, let's say it get up to 50 million. You can't go back and try to fight Frank Martin, man. This man offering you 50 million. You can't say, no, nah, you can't turn that down and be like, no, nah, I'm going to fight Frank Martin next. Get me about 2 million. <laughs> And fuck around and lose to Frank Martin. Motherfucker, you crazy. <laughs> and now you, you ain't got the negotiation skill. <laughs> now you ain't got that same leverage with that negotiation. Now, the fight with Devin Haney is ruined. You ain't finna make no 50 million with Devin now after you lost to Frank Martin, bro. You better cash out with Devin. Go for broke. Go for that, get that 50 million, my nigga. Cash the fuck out and retire if that's what you want to do. Since you've only fighting for the money, you better go. You better get this Devin Haney fight. I wouldn't even fuck with Shakur. Shakur, you ain't finna get this much. Devin Haney is the top fight that gonna make you the most money right now, bro. You gotta make this fight. Any other fight is stupid. You you be an idiot to, to fight Shakur. And get paid probably ten million, most at most probably ten mil with Shakur. When you could got fifty uh, to seventy with fucking Devin, bro. Ten million, Shakur, take home ten million. I'll, I'll take home fifty, fucking million. Come on, man. Come on, man. In your fucking bank account, seventy, fifty, fucking million dollar, bro. Come on, bro. What makes sense? So the pressure is on Tank, bro. The pressure is on. There ain't no fucking pressure, really. You finna get 50 fucking million dollars, bro. What, what pressure? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. The generational wealth. That's it for me. Peace.